Hi my name is Anabia Jawad welcome to my YouTube channel. How to start yoga for the elderly, and why you should. You can never be old enough to enjoy the rewards of yoga. For the elderly who are looking for a safe, effective way to improve their physical health and overall well-being, yoga stretching, breathing and meditation practices can be a great solution. In fact, as you can see, regular practice of yoga can have many benefits for older people, ranging from more flexible and better balance to less stress and better sleep. Not surprisingly, yoga is becoming increasingly popular among seniors. The 2016 Yoga in American study found that about 14 million Americans over the age of 50 practiced yoga this year. It was a significant leap forward from the 40 million people who did so in 2012. This article outlines the many benefits of senior yoga and outlines some of the best forms of yoga for older men and women, including the increasingly popular discipline of chair yoga. It also provides information on basic poses and explains what you should do before starting a yoga routine. And it even provides tips for helpful books, videos, and DVDs, as well as tips on how to find the right classes. Benefits of yoga for older adults. The best yoga for seniors an unconventional option. Chair yoga for seniors how to prepare for yoga basic yoga positions for beginners yoga classes for the elderly helpful books, videos, and DVDs. Benefits of yoga for the elderly. Yoga builds mental physical connection, which strengthens and strengthens the asana with deep breathing and relaxation. Despite its roots in Eastern philosophy, the practice of yoga in the West is generally based on physical fitness. It still has a spiritual aspect, but it is not entirely religious. People of all faiths and belief systems can benefit from participating in yoga. Because the pose, called ashen, can be easily changed or adapted to suit an individual's needs, yoga is safe for seniors of all fitness or fitness levels. In fact, it can be a great way to keep your body strong and healthy without joint stress that comes from other activities such as weightlifting or jogging. And it's never too late to start. You can start yoga at any age. Clean it with your doctor before you go. Here are some benefits of yoga for the elderly. Better balance. Many yoga poses for seniors focus on strengthening improving abdominal muscles and your core stability. This can help you stay on your feet and reduce your risk of falling. Improved flexibility. Yoga movements can be great stretching exercises for seniors. Holding the suffix for multiple breaths encourages your muscles and connective tissues to relax and relax, which helps increase your range of motion. In fact, Research in the International Journal of Yoga Therapy has shown that regular practice of yoga can dramatically improve the overall flexibility of older adults. Improved breathing. Yoga breathing control methods, called pranima, can increase your lung capacity and improve your pulmonary health. A study published in the Journal of Human Kinetics found that older women who practiced yoga three times a week for 12 weeks saw a significant improvement in their respiratory function. Strong bones. If you are bothered by easily broken bones and osteoporosis, try yoga. For older women and men, yoga, a regular yoga routine that includes a weight-bearing posture, can help promote bone strength. Some promising research has suggested that yoga may actually improve bone density in postmenopausal women. Reduced anxiety and stress. Through meditation and mental breathing, yoga encourages you to focus on the present and find a sense of peace. Research has shown that it can lower the levels of the stress hormone cortisol and help reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression. In a National Institutes of Health survey, more than 85% of people who practiced yoga said it reduced stress as a result. Improved sleep. Yoga can help alleviate sleep disturbances, which are common complaints in the elderly. In a study published in Health and Medicine in Alternative Medicine, adults over the age of 60 who struggled with insomnia attended yoga classes twice a week and held daily sessions at home. After three months, the group reported a significant improvement in both their sleep duration and overall quality. The best forms of yoga for senior citizens. Whether you want to be stronger and more flexible or you just want to dump and still your mind, yoga can help. But with the dozens of different styles available, it can be difficult to know which type is right for you. Remember that an important consideration is your physical condition and level of fitness. Take care of your health before starting any new exercise therefore, Hatha is a general term that includes all forms of yoga that focus on body postures. But in most cases, the controversial sequence of sitting and standing in classes advertised as hand yoga occurs. 
they are usually about stretching and breathing, do not increase your heart rate or bring your legs behind your head. This is why many people think that Hatha is the best type of yoga for beginners. Iyengar. Iyengar yoga is methodical and precise, with an emphasis on proper form. Practitioners are encouraged to assist in the alignment of objects such as bolsters, straps, blocks, and inclined boards. Because PERPS allows all kinds of modifications, this is a great yoga style for seniors with arthritis or other chronic conditions. Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation yoga is a slow, meditative form of yoga designed to release tension passively, without stretching. Props are used to fully support the body, and last for several long periods, sometimes up to 10 minutes. Rehabilitation is the best form of yoga for seniors who want to promote relaxation and satisfaction. This is not uncommon for people sleeping in the classroom. Yin. Like rehabilitation yoga, yen yoga is slow and focuses on long-term imagery. The difference between yen and rehabilitation yoga is that there is no active involvement in rehabilitation, whereas in yen you work on stretching your deep connective tissues. Doing yin yoga regularly can help relieve stiffness and increase flexibility. Vanessa. This is a general term for a yoga style that involves breathing matches with a series of continuous movements flowing from each other. Packing may vary, but routines are often very fluid and fast. Vanessa, as self-proclaimed, insists on the exchange of currencies. Some people have likened it to a dance. Vanyasa yoga is tough in terms of physical fitness, but seniors who are properly fit can enjoy the challenge. Ashtanga. Fast and physically challenging ashtanga has a proportionate pose set that is performed in the same way each time. It is an intense, acrobatic activity that increases your heart rate and circulation, which is why some people say that ashting is the best type of yoga for weight loss. Although it is not generally recommended for beginners, some older adults find it very beneficial. Bikram. In Bikram yoga, rooms are usually heated to more than 100 degrees and have a humidity of 40%. Guarantees that you will sweat the buckets because you spend 90 minutes on 26 breathing and 2 breathing techniques. The idea is to strengthen the muscles and flush out toxins from the body. However, overheating is a real danger. If you have low blood pressure symptoms, high blood pressure or any kind of heart symptoms, Bikram is not for you. Kundalini. Known as the yoga of awakening, Kundalini can appeal to elders who are deeply interested in the spiritual and physical components of yoga. This includes body posture, breathing exercises, meditation and mantras. Unconventional option, chair yoga for seniors. Not everyone is comfortable with the ups and downs of traditional yoga. In chair yoga, seniors with mobility challenges or balance problems can enjoy the benefits of yoga without having to get off the floor mat. From the spine and hips to the chest openers and forward bends, a large number of changes can be made from the chair. The man and woman were spread out around the room with their arms outstretched home subjects yoga for the elderly yoga for the elderly, how to get started, and why you should, by publisher, last updated on August 6, 2020. You can never be old enough to enjoy the rewards of yoga. For the elderly who are looking for a safe, effective way to improve their physical health and overall well-being, yoga stretching, breathing and meditation practices can be a great solution. In fact, as you can see, Regular practice of yoga can have many benefits for older people, ranging from more flexible and better balance to less stress and better sleep. Not surprisingly, yoga is becoming increasingly popular among seniors. The 2016 Yoga in American study found that about 14 million Americans over the age of 50 practiced yoga this year. It was a significant leap forward from the 40 million people who did so in 2012. This article outlines the many benefits of senior yoga and outlines some of the best forms of yoga for older men and women, including the increasingly popular discipline of chair yoga. It also provides information on basic poses and explains what you should do before starting a yoga routine. And it even provides tips for helpful books, videos, and DVDs, as well as tips on how to find the right classes. Contents Benefits of Yoga for Older Adults The best yoga for seniors are for yoga basic yoga positions for beginners yoga classes for the elderly helpful books, videos, and DVDs Benefits of Yoga for the elderly yoga builds mental physical connection, which strengthens and strengthens the asana with deep breathing and relaxation. Despite its roots in Eastern philosophy, the practice of yoga in the West is generally based on physical fitness. It still has a spiritual aspect, but it is not entirely religious. 
people of all faiths and belief systems can benefit from participating in yoga. Because the pose, called ashen, can be easily changed or adapted to suit an individual's needs, yoga is safe for seniors of all fitness or fitness levels. In fact, it can be a great way to keep your body strong and healthy without joint stress that comes from other activities such as weightlifting or jogging. And it's never too late to start. You can start yoga at any age. Clean it with your doctor before you go. Here are some benefits of yoga for the elderly. Better balance. There are many yoga contrasts for seniors that strengthen the abdominal muscles and improve your core stability. This can help you stay on your feet and reduce your risk of falling. Improved flexibility. Yoga movements can be a fantastic stretching exercise for seniors. Holding the suffix for multiple breaths encourages your muscles and connective tissues to relax and relax, which helps increase your range of motion. In fact, Research in the International Journal of Yoga Therapy has shown that regular practice of yoga can dramatically improve the overall flexibility of older adults. Improved breathing. Yoga breathing control methods, called pranima, can increase your lung capacity and improve your pulmonary health. A study published in the Journal of Human Kinetics found that older women who practiced yoga three times a week for 12 weeks saw a significant improvement in their respiratory function. Strong bones. If you are bothered by easily broken bones and osteoporosis, try yoga. For older women and men, yoga, a regular yoga routine that includes a weight-bearing posture, can help promote bone strength. Some promising research has suggested that yoga may actually improve bone density in postmenopausal women. Reduce anxiety and stress. Through meditation and mental breathing, yoga encourages you to focus on the present and find a sense of calm. Research has shown that it can lower the levels of the stress hormone cortisol and help reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression. In a National Institutes of Health survey, more than 85% of people who practiced yoga said it reduced stress as a result. Improved sleep. Yoga can help alleviate sleep disturbances, which are common complaints in the elderly. In a study published in Health and Medicine in Alternative Medicine, adults over the age of 60 who struggled with insomnia attended yoga classes twice a week and held daily sessions at home. After three months, the group reported a significant improvement in both their sleep duration and overall quality. The best forms of yoga for senior citizens whether you want to be stronger and more flexible or you just want to dump and still your mind, yoga can help. But with the dozens of different styles available, it can be difficult to know which type is right for you. Remember that an important consideration is your physical condition and level of fitness. Consult your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise routine. Here are eight types of yoga that you can offer. Gray-haired woman and man sit cross-legged on yoga mats with their eyes closed and their heads together. Hatha. Not really a special style. Hatha is a general term that includes all types of yoga focused on body postures. But in most cases, the controversial sequence of sitting and standing in classes advertised as hand yoga occurs. They are usually about stretching and breathing, do not increase your heart rate or bring your legs behind your head. This is why many people think that Hatha is the best type of yoga for beginners. Iyengar. Iyengar yoga is methodical and precise, with an emphasis on proper form. Practitioners are encouraged to assist in the alignment of objects such as bolsters, straps, blocks, and inclined boards. Because PERPS allows all kinds of modifications, this is a great yoga style for seniors with arthritis or other chronic conditions. Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation yoga is a slow, meditative form of yoga designed to release tension passively, without stretching. Props are used to fully support the body, and last for several long periods, sometimes up to 10 minutes. Rehabilitation is the best form of yoga for seniors who want to promote relaxation and satisfaction. This is for people sleeping in class and, yin yoga is slow and focused on posing for a long time. The difference between yen and rehabilitation yoga is that there is no active involvement in rehabilitation, whereas in yen you work on stretching your deep connective tissues. Doing yin yoga regularly can help relieve stiffness and increase flexibility. Vanessa. This is a general term for a yoga style that involves breathing matches with a series of continuous movements flowing from each other. Packing may vary, but routines are often very fluid and fast. Vanessa, as self-proclaimed, insists on the exchange of currencies. Some people have likened it to a dance. Vanyasa yoga is tough in terms of physical fitness, but seniors who are properly fit can enjoy the challenge. Ashtanga. 
fast and physically challenging ashtanga has a proportionate pose set that is performed in the same way each time. It is an intense, acrobatic activity that increases your heart rate and circulation, which is why some people say that ashting is the best type of yoga for weight loss. Although it is not generally recommended for beginners, some older adults find it very beneficial. Bikram. In Bikram yoga, rooms are usually heated to more than 100 degrees and have a humidity of 40%. Guarantees that you will sweat the buckets because you spend 90 minutes on 26 breathing and 2 breathing techniques. The idea is to strengthen the muscles and flush out toxins from the body. However, overheating is a real danger. If you have low blood pressure symptoms, high blood pressure or any kind of heart symptoms, Bikram is not for you. Kundalini. Known as the yoga of awakening, Kundalini can appeal to elders who are deeply interested in the spiritual and physical components of yoga. This includes body posture, breathing exercises, meditation and mantras. Unconventional option. Chair yoga for seniors not everyone is comfortable with the ups and downs of traditional yoga. In chair yoga, seniors with mobility challenges or balance problems can enjoy the benefits of yoga without having to get off the floor mat. From the spine and hips to the chest openers and forward bends, a large number of changes can be made from the chair. The following video explains an hour-long gentle yoga series for seniors who, mostly, prefer to sit up. How to prepare for yoga yoga offers some great strength and flexibility exercises for seniors. But like any physical activity, it is important to make sure you are ready. Here are some tips to help you stay prepared. 1. Assess your physical condition. Although people of any age can start in yoga, some movements are not suitable for people with certain medical conditions. For example, People with glaucoma should avoid inverted or head-down positions as such suffixes can increase eye strain. That's why it's important to talk to your doctor, and your instructor, before trying out simple yoga routines. 2. Assemble your gear. You need comfortable clothes for yoga. Fitted clothes work best, especially for the top, because you will be bending in different positions and you do not want your shirt to fall into your eyes. Leggings or jogging pants with a fitting t-shirt or tank top are good choices. You don't usually need special shoes because barefoot yoga is usually done. However, if you are worried about losing your destination, you can wear non-slip socks or even shoes. You will also need a yoga mat. Some studios offer them for free, but others expect you to bring your own, and many prefer to have their own for hygiene reasons. Look for someone who can support your whole body long enough long 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 wide when you lie down and are so sticky that whenever you try to hold the pose if so, you can't slip. You may also want to consider this material. Cheap mats are made of PVC, but if you need eco-friendliness, pay attention to mats made of rubber, cotton or jute. Most mats are one eighth of an inch thick, but some are a little thinner or thicker. Thick mats provide maximum support for sensitive joints, but they can make standing balance more difficult. They are also blacker and harder to carry around. Portability doesn't matter if you only practice at home, but it can be a problem if you want to attach your mat to and from a studio or community center. 3. Find a good teacher. It is important to find a trained instructor who understands the unique challenges facing the crowd of more than 55. The Yoga Alliance maintains a voluntary registry of yoga teachers throughout the United States who meet certain standards. Also, Yoga for Seniors offers a directory of instructors who have specialized training. If possible, observe a real classroom to gain an understanding of the teacher's technique. And once you choose an instructor, be sure to tell him about any physical limitations, such as arthritis, balance problems, back pain, or high blood pressure. 4. Start slow. You can become more flexible by making yoga easier. For example, if your goal is to be able to bend and touch your fingers, start with your hands on your thighs. Take a few deep breaths, then reach down to the knees. Pause again and take a few more deep breaths before reaching the middle of your shin, etc. The point is to avoid too much pressure. Make sure you get enough rest after each pose, and never rush into new currencies. Do not add any new movements until your body is fully adjusted to your routine. Always remember that yoga is not about maintaining the people around you. Just focus on moving at your own pace. The ray of yoga should never hurt. You may feel challenged, but you should not reach a state of stress.
If you can't easily work out a particular suffix, ask your teacher for a revised version. Almost every yoga practice can be modified to accommodate a wide range of physical needs. And don't hesitate to use props such as straps, blocks, walls or chairs for extra support. Basic yoga places for beginners keep in mind that the essential meaning of the basic is not easy. The purpose of doing yoga poses is to challenge your mind as well as your body. Even in simple tricks, a lot is going on. That's why, in the beginning, it's easy to learn yoga poses in person from a qualified instructor. But if you want to relax with some tricks before you go to class, make sure your body listens and don't push yourself beyond your limits. Ready to get started? Here are some examples of yoga exercises for beginners with links to videos that demonstrate the proper technique. Mountain. The most basic stand pose, the mountain pose helps you improve your posture and balance. Trees. Trees are great for lowering body strength and improving balance. Modified versions can also be used when taking a taxi or sitting in a chair. Downward facing dog. It opens the raised chest and stretches the calves, hamstrings and back. If you have a wrist problem, you can modify this mod by placing your forehead on the ground. Cat guy. These are classic yoga movements that promote flexibility in the spine and strengthen the abdominal muscles. Cat food can also be done from the chair. Plaque. Plaque suffixes must go into the push-up position, but not really lower yourself. It is best for strengthening core strength and upper body strength. For the revised version, keep your knees on the ground. Triangle. In addition to working the hamstrings and hips, this suffix also strengthens your core. It can help slow down digestion and relieve back pain. You can also suffix sitting trials. First warrior. It opens the chest and hips and strengthens your calves, ankles and thighs. If it is very difficult to reach, put your hands on your hips. Baby suffix. Often used as a resting place, baby suffixes extend the spine and hips as well as the lower back. This is a great way to relax, relieve stress and calm your mind. Yoga classes for seniors It is advisable to start your yoga journey in person by taking classes in person so that you can get customized guidance from experienced instructors. You need to make sure you are doing the right thing so that you can avoid injury and get the most out of it. In addition, many older people enjoy the social aspect of being with other people on a regular basis who are interested in them. But, you might ask, how do I find a way to start a yoga class for seniors near me? One option is to contact yoga studios, community centers, or health clubs in your area to find out what they offer. Find programs for beginners such as beginner or gentle yoga. You can also try searching for yoga classes nearby on your website, which allows you to enter a location and let them know that you are looking for seniors yoga classes. Please like and share video and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.